I'm Boomer Esiason for SI.com. And with Major League Baseball's opening day right around the corner, a couple really good stories to keep an eye on. Number one, Chris Bryant, the third baseman for the Chicago Cubs. He's going to start in the minors, they say, all because of some Major League Baseball Players Association and owners agreement within the union that allows him to go down there so they can hold on to him for six years. I can't wait until he gets back up into the major leagues. And I want to see that if he can follow exactly what he's done here in spring training. How about Tanaka, the ace for the New York Yankees? Last year had an elbow problem. Now his countryman, Yu Darvish, has been shut down with Tommy John surgery. Does that happen to the $150 million investment that the New York Yankees are going to trot out there on opening day? How about Matt Harvey for the New York Mets coming off of elbow surgery himself? It's been 18 months since he's pitched in a regular season major league game. I can't wait to see him on the mound for the Mets as well. Can this year's Cinderella team be the Cleveland Indians? That's right, the Cleveland Indians. There are a lot of people out there that think the Indians can overtake the Tigers. That would be an unbelievable accomplishment. Look, we all know about the Cardinals. We know about the Nationals. And we certainly know about the Yankees and the Red Sox and their heated rivalry. But one of these teams, whether it be Kansas City like last year or Cleveland this year, is going to be the surprise team. My money on the Indians. I'm Boomer Esiason.